Good evening all. Another video on a faction for Dead Man's Hand. Uh, last time it was the Outlaws faction. This time we're going on to the Law faction. You'll find them in page 24 of the main rule book, or they've got the faction cards, but you will need the rule book. So obviously page 24. Um, for people who don't know anything about the Wild West, which is a bit odd, but some people may not, the law keeps the peace, makes sure any outlaws do do badders, is that a word? Desperados, anything like that, stop, stop their madness or any crime being committed or anything like that. So, like we've done in the previous videos. All of them have very similar stats. There's slight tweaks in weapons they can have or abilities and whatnot, but they're very nearly the same, just different different name. Um, and the ability is different. So, starting with the Sheriff. He has a pistol. You have to have a Sheriff. And you can only have one. Because every town has one. He has five hits, five hit points. He has a nerve of two plus, so he's very brave. He has a shoot of plus one, so he's got a bit of accuracy bonus, no hand hand bonus, and his reputation is six. So your minimum spend at the minute is six points, or six, rep six reputation. You can have 0 to 1 Marshall, you can only have one, but you don't have to. He, he comes with a pistol. He has four hit points, nerve of three plus, so slightly less brave than the Sheriff. His shoot is plus two. So he's more accurate in a firefight. No hand-to-hand -hand bonus and his reputation is 5. So not quite as good, but getting the sh shoot bonus does help. You can have you have to have at least two two deputies, but you can have more. Pistol, rifle or repeater, up to two may have shotguns. Now what you've got to remember is every, unless you're playing cowboys, half of your models have to come with pistols. Um, hit points four, nerve four plus, so not nowhere near as brave as the other two. Shoot no bonus, hand to hand no bonus, and reputation is two. So cost is way way less, under half of the deputy, but not as good as the deputies or sorry, not as good as the marshals or sheriffs. And then we've got not four upstanding citizens, so you can have up to four, no more. No less. But you don't have to take any. Pistol, up to half, may have shotguns. Which, you know, not a bad thing. Hit points, three. Nerve of six plus, so they're, they may run away pretty quickly. Shoot, minus one. Hand to hand, minus one. And reputation is one. So their cost is really cheap, but their stats aren't that great. So they're... Abilities for the law gang is I am the law. I didn't want to go too silly on that and explain it makes it even sillier. So it says any lawman lawman model in sight of the sheriff, even if obscured by other models, receives a plus one bonus to their nerve test. This is in addition to the modifiers for having a friendly model within fifteen centimeters. So when we get on to do a ga game of this to show y'all, we'll show you the different rules and whatnot that apply to the different factions. Because it'll be, it'll be lawmen versus outlaws. Quite possibly. Probably will be, because it makes sense. So the second one, and justice for all. Um, it's a Metallica song in case you didn't notice. I don't know if the if Great Escape Games are great good big fans of Metallica, but that's what it's come from, I assume. And it says the player may remove a single under fire marker at the end of each turn, so they can technically heal themselves, which is very nice. Now the car the law faction, sorry gang. They are pretty, pretty well done. Um, 
I am the law would have been useless or next to useless if you wanted to go cheap but you have to take a sheriff so you have to count in the case of you're paying the points so you've got a little bit of in bonus for it um, you can have pistols, repeaters or rifles with the deputies again nothing wrong with that you want more shots more range or a bit of accuracy or a bit of close combat skill with the pistol you know whatever takes your fancy Sh shotguns are very hit and miss because they lack the range and the accuracy is not not that great um, upstanding citizens they don't cost much so you won't expect them to live you might as well give them a shotgun so that's near enough it for that faction um, we'll go on to their standard card their um, deck cards gang specific cards you'll find that on page 20 so outlaws oop, sorry no you won't you'll find that on page 18 so the joker sorry the the jack and using hearts so the jack is I am the law this car you strap you stride into the open with right as your shield enough can stand up to you hollering at any who that will listen you advance towards the enemy any and all in the way turn tail and run rather than face your wrath the card is particularly useful that's just a bit of handy tip but it actually says play it on any opposing model within 20 centimeters after de it declares its action for the turn the opposing model must instead take an immediate duck back losing all of its actions for this turn a very useful card which ain't surprising you're not going to get much use out of it so the queen long arm of the law the dust begins to settle. It's obvious what's coming next. He's going to break up an event to all you firing. Let's see if a couple of words of encouragement will help. Come on out. I'll only shoot you once, I promise. Let's see if this is eager to move from cover now. So what it does. Play on an opposing model within 20 centimeters after it declares his actions for the turn. It receives an underfire marker before it takes any actions. This may result in the model going out of action. So you can do an automatic hit on someone effectively. It's good, you can't say that, you can't deny that. So the king. If God didn't want him shit, shared. He would have made them sheep. Play on them. The fighting has been intense. The guy behind the wagon runs across the street and crashes through the window into the barbers. He's met by a volley of gunfire. You can only hope Mr. Padgett Paget the barber is as good at shooting as he is his day job. That'd shave their numbers down. Play on an opposing model after it declares its actions for the turn and it is in or about to enter a building. An upstanding citizen shoots at the dastardly felon invading his property. Take a single, single shooting action against the opposing model with no modifiers. Following the opposing model shoot, following this the opposing model shoots the upstanding citizen. This uses up its remaining actions if it has any. Um, this doesn't say you have to use a model, but to make it look really epic and make a sense of scale and grandeur and you know everything like that, it really it it's really good if you have some models placed around the air, placed around the table where you can actually use this card, and it only works if someone's got line of sight to who you want to use it on. It. It just gives it a bit more, bit more depth, and <clears throat> it kills the citizen, but the citizen's done his job. 
So, the ace is hang them high. Not long now, they were in a bad way. Some of them are all shot up, the others are all pinned in place. If you can just press your advantage, then this will be all over soon. Just have to keep them, keep on at them, and not give them a second to breathe. Play before the opposing player activates any models. No opposing model may use any recover actions this turn. So normally you can recover a under fire marker and get rid of one. This stops it, which again is really really useful. So that's pretty much it for this faction. Um, they are really, really, really defensive and good at healing themselves. But, I mean, the deputies aren't that bad. They can take rifles, repeaters, they can take pretty much everything. They're a good faction and you won't go wrong with them. And so with that, we'll get on to another one. Goodbye for now.